Aloha and welcome to part 13. Guess what folks, we beat Dr. Eggman and saved the day. We got the Master Emerald back from uh, Eggman. And now Hypersonic is going to take it back to Angel Island, why not? <laughs> Good thing Tails Plane can attach a rocket and it has a grappling hook. <laughs> he just thought of everything, didn't he Tails? Good job. That tornado is a very good plane. <laughs> so as proven before, uh, the Death Egg is what caused Angel Island to fall to the ocean in the first place. Now that the Death Egg is gone, it's still down. Why? Because the thing that was keeping it levitating was the Master Emerald, the thing Knuckles has been guarding all of his life. And now that the Master Emerald has been returned, Angel Island will float back into the sky where it belongs, I guess. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if it belongs there, but whatever. And with the Master Emerald returned safely, Knuckles now realizes that uh, Sonic, he's not too bad of a guy. I guess Knuckles got a new friend. And that, my friends, is uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Fantastic fucking game. Uh, there is a supersonic ending, which I'm not going to be showing in an extra video, and basically in the supersonic ending, it's pretty much exactly this. It's pretty much this, except they show a nice cameo of a of an egg robo still alive. Which, uh, I guess, hints at the Knuckles storyline, I think, or something, but, uh... That, and you don't get Knuckles looking off into the distance at Sonic flying away. That's why you need Sonic 3 and Knuckles, folks. You get the best ending. You get Knuckles looking happy at Sonic and such. Showing that they're going to be friends in the near future, because, you know, now Knuckles trusts us. He's a good guy. He's not an idiot anymore. <laughs> With uh, the Super Sonic playthrough, uh, Sonic actually loses his Super Sonic status as he falls to Earth. And then Tails saves him and the Master Emerald. And then they bring it back. Angel Island floats back to the sky, blah de blah de blah I will be showing what happens if you don't have the Chaos Emeralds, though. Don't worry. I will show it off. That will be in an extra video. But uh, that won't be coming uh, for a while, because I still got the Knuckles playthrough to do. So, I didn't do a Tails playthrough of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I'm not going to do a Tails playthrough of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. So I guess a lot of people are asking, why are you doing a Knuckles playthrough, Clement? Well, actually, the Knuckles playthrough is quite different. I kid you not, the bosses are harder, the paths are different, and... Well, it's actually kind of shorter. It also takes place after Sonic's story, and you're going to notice that the Death Egg is nowhere to be found in any of the levels, because at this point, the Death Egg is destroyed for good. But I'm getting ahead of myself. You'll see in the Knuckles playthrough, it's a much different game. Plus, I want to show off Knuckles' abilities. I showed him off in one video. We gotta see his gliding and his wall climbing in action. Plus, I gotta go into his backstory and tell you all about our new Echidna character. But I digress. If you don't want to watch the Knuckles playthrough, I can understand why this will be your last video. And so I'm just gonna say that Sonic 3 and Knuckles is a fantastic fucking game. If you haven't played it, you need to. It's my second favorite Sonic next to Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So much depth, so much to do. You can replay the game with your with your uh, Super Emeralds again, which is always swell, and it's just a fantastic game. Hells yeah! Sonic 3 and Knuckles is all kinds of awesome. So folks, I guess this is, this is it for the LP. I'll either see you on Sonic Chaos for the Game Gear, or I'll see you in uh, the Knuckles playthrough. So, until then, I am the Great Clement. Toodles.